Hello Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your general reading for the month of July of 2022. Yes, please keep in mind that this is a general reading Aquarius, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This does not have to resonate for everyone. We could also be talking to a cross watcher, yeah? So just place it into your life as it fits. Don't try to force anything to fit that doesn't naturally go there. Also, Aquarius, keep in mind that this is, in fact, a timeless reading. I understand that it is associated or and or dated for the month of July of 2022, but time is an illusion and is fluid. So this doesn't have to resonate for you during the month of July. Whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment. The association with July really for is really just for organizational purposes. Yes. All right, Aquarius, we're going to dive into this. Two more shuffles here. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, and north node. What is going on for Aquarius? What messages do we have for Aquarius at this time? Last shuffle. All right. Let's get into this. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, and north node. What's going on for Aquarius? Please, spirit, what messages do we have for Aquarius at this time? Ooh. Oh, oh, oh shit. All right. I don't want to look at that yet. Because the first card you have here, Aquarius, is the Seven of Swords. All right. Six of Cups, the Devil, the Ace of Wands. Overall energy. Yeah. Is the Eight of Cups. So, Aquarius... Either you are walking away from this association or you need to. <sighs> okay, I, I, I want to say this. I want to say this. Um, I'm not specifically channeling for Venus placements in this reading. This is Sun, Moon, Rising and North Node. But that does not mean we won't still be talking about love and relationships for some reason. If that really needs to come through, if that's really the message, if that if that needs to come through, if that's what Spears wants to talk about, then that's what we're going to talk about here. So that's I I I don't know why I feel like I feel compelled to to, to um, clarify that, but there you have it. This is a relationship. This is a relationship that is deceptive. This is a relationship in which somebody is using their strong, deep soulmate, a soul attachment or soul association. Someone is using a soulmate connection, a very strong connection to their advantage, to sabotage someone else. I mean, this could be, this doesn't have to be romantic. What I'm feeling right now, Aquarius, is this feels like a relationship between a mother and a daughter. Some, there is something that is being, someone is being manipulated here. Someone is using their connection, their strong connection with someone else to get what it is that they want. They're being deceptive about it. They're being sneaky about it. They're being deliberate about it. Take it as it resonates. Overall energy here is the Eight of Cups. This needs to be walked away from. This needs to be released. Okay, I'll show you the cards here. Seven of Swords, Six of Cups, the Devil, the Ace of Wands. And it, it doesn't have to be a parent and child or specifically a mother-daughter relationship, but it absolutely can be. Because what I'm getting from this energy is... Well, you're stuck with me or someone is aware, the devil and the ace of wands. What I'm feeling with this is someone is aware that they have some sort of bond with another person. This person is stuck with them somehow. This is this is uh, this is that um, that mindset of. Well, they're your mother, they're your father, they're your sister, they're your brother, blah, blah, blah. You have to love them. You have to do this. You have to do that. You have to be there for them, blah, 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 blah. But if the situation is abusive, is toxic, 
the devil, then you have every right to walk away. See, here's the thing about the devil, Aquarius. It may seem like a situation that you are bound to that you just can't seem to get away from. You just can't seem to let go of. You can't seem to be released from. The devil does represent that adage. Is it an adage? Why did I hear adage? Or that phrase or saying the old ball and chain, right? To speak of someone's spouse. Here's the thing though. And what the devil doesn't tell you or what the devil doesn't want you to know is that you can remove yourself from this association at any time. Oftentimes the devil is represented as like a devil in between two individuals and those two individuals are chained to the devil, right? It doesn't say that in this side, in this depiction. But maybe it'll come out in another in the other deck in my clarifying deck so you can see it. But the thing about the chains that are on these people, let me see if I can find it. The thing about the chains that are on these people is that they're loose enough to be slipped right off. Like you could literally take those chains off at any time. You can get away from the devil's. Yeah, here we go. You can get away from the devil's grasp by releasing yourself from this at any moment by just taking those chains right off, slipping them right off over your head. But see, that's the thing. You have to choose. It has to be your choice. The devil is not gonna let you go, okay? Of his own volition. Even if he's made an ade a deal, an agreement with you to say you do this for him and he'll let you go. Either he made that deal with his fingers crossed behind his back, had no intention of ever honoring it, or he's going to find some sort of loophole to keep you in there. You have to be the one to release yourself from this association. That's why you have the Eight of Cups as your overall energy. But somebody here is using the, the knowledge of your attachment to them as a means to get what it is that they want, Ace of Wands. Now, you may be codependent on this person financially, physically, mentally, emotionally, but also keep in mind that they are very codependent on you as well. Okay, you guys mirror each other in that sense. And if you're physically dependent on this person, I understand how that the challenges that is going to like if you are if you have some sort of disability or something like that. But I. But literally, as I was speaking to that, as I was saying, if you have some sort of disability, I heard my guide say, your mother is using that against you. Your mother is using that to take advantage of you. I mean, I don't necessarily know what, you're, what you can do about that, but at least this awareness could help you. Because at least if you're aware of it now, now you can start to figure out what it is you can do to release the chains here. Oh, I do not like this, Aquarius. I don't like it one bit, but we're going to continue. Let's get some clarification here, yeah? I just heard seven shuffles. All right. Let's see. That was one. This is two. This is three. Clarification for my Aquarians, please, Spirit. Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. This is four. Five. Six. Six. And seven. All right. Um, yeah, which is funny because I do want to clarify the Seven of Swords first. Good. Ten of Swords is at the bottom of the deck right now. I like that. We can bring this to an end. We can end this tirade, as what I just heard. Excellent. Clarify the Seven of Swords, please, for Aquarius. Clarify the Seven of Swords. The Sun. Bam! Awareness. Clarify the Seven of Swords. The Six of Cups. Look at this. Okay. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Aquarius, please, Spirit. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Just one last card, please. There it is right there. Good. 
overall energy, we're still at the Ten of Swords. We absolutely can end this. And we end this how? By becoming aware of it. By becoming aware of it. Now, the first thing that I felt, one of the first things that I felt actually, when the sun came out here, is that you're going to be able to use, some of you, somebody here is going to be able to use the deceptive tendencies or the ways that someone has been deceiving you or lying to you or stealing from you or trying to steal from you. You're going to be able to use those efforts against this person for some of you because it's going to be blatantly obvious or you have you'll have some sort of proof, okay? But the Seven of Swords is clarified by the Sun, the Six of Cups, and the Seven of Cups. So it's become blatantly obvious or someone is becoming aware of the fact that someone is using their soulmate connection with another person to create a level of confusion. And that confusion, which typically is um, uh, in the form of gaslighting, that is one of the one of the strongest forms of manipulation tactics that loved ones use against another loved ones. Mm -hmm. But um, there is an awareness here that someone is using their soulmate attachment to somebody else, whether it's romantic or familial. I do feel strong familial stuff, but they're using that to create confusion. They're using that to gaslight another person into sticking around or staying them or continuing to be able to use them. But that situation is coming to an end or is coming to a close. Why? Because someone is starting to figure it out. And what I'm really feeling here, Aquarius, is that you're not even, I mean, maybe I am helping you to see this by, by doing this reading for you, by, by you listening to this reading. But honestly, what I wanna say is, for the most part, you're starting to come to this realization on your own. You're starting to figure it out yourself because I feel like this person's getting sloppy or they're overconfident. They feel like they got it like that now so they don't really have to worry about keeping shit under wraps. They can just do it however they do it. You're not gonna question them. They think, they feel like they have got you so under their thumb or so wrapped around their little finger, you wouldn't even dream of questioning their motives. Ha! <laughs> Joke's on them because now you're starting to question something isn't right. Somebody is using, especially for my Aquarius, well, this is a reading for Aquarius, but somebody here, it feels like somebody is using your sense of loyalty to their advantage and against you. Absolutely could be your mother. Which is funny because for Gemini, we were talking about the uh, 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 father situation that was toxic and negative. Now for Aquarius, we're talking about the mother. That is very interesting. And that is very interesting because, 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 oh no, no, never mind. Uh, never mind. Forget that. Anyway. Okay. Let's clarify the Six of Cups then. Clarify the Six of Cups for Aquarius, please, Spirit. This soulmate connection, this soulmate bond. The Five of Cups. Clarify the Six of Cups here. The Two of Swords. That's enough. And the World. See, it's okay. All right. Um, and then you have the Magician. Yes. There you go. There's the, pro there's the proof of the manipulation right there. If you would focus, are you gonna, would you focus please? Can you, hello, can you, thank you. The magician. There is the proof of the manipulation right there, Aquarius. And what I'm getting from this is that somebody here does not want to admit or accept that you are either gonna grow up that you have grown up or that you, this situation, something about this relationship or situation needs to end. And that's why they're manipulating so much because they're trying to keep it from ending. They're trying to keep a cycle from closing out. I Honestly, you guys, the strongest thing that I feel for this Aquarius is this is a relationship between a parent and a child, specifically a mother and a daughter or a mother and a son or something like that. I just feel, I, I, 
This feels like a relationship between a parent and a child. And this parent doesn't want to accept that their child has grown up. Their child doesn't necessarily need them anymore. Their child is going, is about to move on to the rest of their life. I'm trying to have compassion. I'm not a parent, so I don't know what this is like. Okay, I'm trying to have compassion here, but no, fuck that. You don't get to gaslight and manipulate somebody into sticking around or staying around and doing all these things for you just because you don't want to see them move on, grow up and move on. And just because they're moving on with their life doesn't mean that they're completely leaving you behind. And if they are completely leaving you behind, then maybe there's a reason for that. Because maybe you've been manipulating them all along. Maybe this relationship with you is toxic. But you see, this person doesn't want to admit that. This person doesn't want to see that. This person doesn't want to see this situation end. The Two of Swords, they, the, mm, the denial, the Two of Swords to the world. The world is the completion of a cycle. They are manipulating this situation to keep it from ending. Clarify the devil for Aquarius, please. Justice. Clarify the devil for Aquarius. The Knight of Pentacles. And the Hermit. And the star. Overall energy is the star. What I'm getting from the star is that someone would is wishing would just love... Come on, focus. Someone would just love to be released from this. Seriously? Thank you. Someone would really just love to be released from this. The star. You're going to get what you want. You're going to get what you want. Justice will prevail in this situation. But what it's going to take, Aquarius, is you taking the slowly, slow but sure, step-by-step -step process towards releasing yourself from this situation. And it's also going to take a level of self-awareness. Because here's the thing, Aquarius. Someone can't manipulate you if you know who it is that you are. Now, I understand that part of this situation could be this individual uh, berating you, I just heard, or beating into or drilling into who they want you to be, who they think you are, who they think you should be. That is also a level of gaslighting. You have to come to a certain awareness of yourself so that your foundation is unshakable and someone else's words, actions, or opinions can't sway you. But that's going to take time and effort. And it's going to take follow through. You're going to have to be associated with this for a little bit longer while you, while you generate that foundation of association with who you truly are and what it is you truly want. But justice will prevail here should you do the soul searching. So I look, here's the thing, you guys. This And this is exactly what we were talking about with the devil in terms of if you want to be released from the devil, you are going to have to do it yourself. You are going to have to take that chain off and walk away from, your, from it yourself. Nobody is going to ride in and save you. Nobody is going to ride in and save you. That would be a disservice to you, actually, because you will not have learned to do it for yourself. The really the only way to make a separation from devilish, toxic, low vibrational, codependent energies is to get away from it yourself. Do the work to get away from it from, from it yourself. That is the only way for it to be a permanent separation or severing from this energy. Because if somebody comes in and does it for you, you aren't really getting over or learning from what has got you or kept you attached to this situation to begin with. And if you don't learn that lesson, then it'll just recreate itself until you do. So while we're sitting here, Aquarius, talking about how awful or terrible this person is for manipulating you and using your strong connection with them to manipulate you, ultimately, 
The, re the, the responsibility is yours to get away from this. There's also something coming through now about somebody, about you here, or somebody in this collective, this Aquarian collective saying, but how am I going to teach this person about it? Not your job. Uh, some of you are making an excuse in terms of this person needing to learn their own lesson too as to why you can't walk away or why you can't get away from this. Some of you are using an excuse of well, how are they going to learn or how are they going to do for themselves or blah, blah. If I'm not there to teach them, it is not your job to teach them because they are not going to learn if they don't want to. Just like you are not going to get away from this if you don't want to, if you don't take the steps to do so. It's the same thing. If they don't learn it for themselves, it's not going to stick. Just like if you don't learn it for yourself, it's not going to stick. So it's not your responsibility to do. It's not for you to teach them. And quite frankly, by you taking your power back and owning yourself and getting yourself away from this situation, you are in fact teaching them a lesson that you really can't control people for long. Or should you control or treat people in this way, this is what ultimately what you will get from them. And then maybe, maybe they'll decide to clean up their act. Or maybe they won't. Maybe they'll find someone else to do it, to, to, to get right back into this situation with. At least they won't be with you, right? Because you will have learned. You will have gotten away from it. You're showing up also in your own reading. The star. This is you, Aquarius. And I am feeling like you are desiring to be released from this situation, to heal from this. Why is, why are you not? Why? Thank you. You are desiring to be healed to be released from this situation. And you can do it, but you gotta do it on your, you gotta do it yourself. And no, you don't have to do it alone. You can ask for help from people, but you have to take the initiative. You've gotta take the steps for yourself to take in order to get, to break free from this, okay? Spirit just said closing message, potential outcome. All right. Closing message, potential outcome for my Aquarians in this terms of this situation here. Closing message, potential outcome for Aquarius. Well, you, there's the sun again. All right. Overall energy is the king of cups. You know what it is you have to do, Aquarius. You know what it is you have to do. I know it's not necessarily going to be easy, especially if this is with your mother. Like, I get that. I get that, Aquarius. I totally get it. But ultimately here, you know what it is you have to do. It's going to take a, le a strong level of emotional maturity. And no, it's not necessarily going to be easy, but it's the right thing to do. You have to fight back. You have to cut yourself free from this. This, the, the, this, I'm sorry, the Knight of Swords, the Sun. Wow. The Emperor and... The Ten of Pentacles. This definitely has to do with family for, most, for some. This may even have to do with money. Being financially codependent. Okay. You can work your way out of that though. You can. I don't know what these people have been or what this person has been telling you, but you can be financially stable on your own. You can find a way to do it. And if you can't, if you're really that physically disabled, if you're that disabled, I don't know. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to pass judgment on anybody. I just feel like if you're coherent enough to be able to watch this reading, then you're coherent enough to find some way to make money for yourself or to do for you. I understand if you're physically disabled, I understand that's a problem. But I'm talking about if your mind is good enough, I feel like you could find a way. I'm not trying to be insensitive. But for whomever this reading is for, I'm, I'm, pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure you can find a way to do it. But you have to take your power back. You have to own the power the emperor, okay? You have got to own the power to do it. 
You have the power. Really? You're that close and you don't want to. You, you have the power. You just have to own it and not allow this individual that's manipulating you to, tr to keep usurping it or taking it away from you. Okay? All right. Closing Oracle Guidance. All right, Aquarius, I am guided to go with the Sacred Rebels Oracle, which can be quite long-winded, <laughs> so bear with me, okay? Sacred Rebels Oracle. All right, Aquarius, closing Oracle guidance for you. Sacred Rebels. Closing Oracle Guidance for my Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. All right. Closing Oracle Guidance, please. There it is. Card number 24. New birth guarded vigilantly. Yep. All right, let's read it. Oops. Okay, here we go. In every creative process, in every birth, in every opening of a new cycle of life, there is a time of vulnerability. This vulnerability is natural and appropriate. It is the foal learning to become steady on its legs. Those legs will become remarkably powerful in time, but the process of growth and maturity has to take place, and that requires some wobbly first attempts. It cannot be the other way, any other way. Within you, perhaps even below the level of your conscious awareness, there is a fresh new life emerging like a vibrant green shoot rising up from the earth. This new life is in need of your attention and your care. This could be a new relationship that needs tending with, interests and, with interest and kindness. It could be a new idea that you need to nurture into fullness because it is going to hold special purpose for your life path. It might be something within you, a new behavior, a new way of looking at yourself, or a new way of being in the world that you need to tend to until it becomes more natural for you to embody. The most significantly so, if you have also, well, no, we haven't drawn that, so never mind, we're going to move forward. You will not always need to cloak with that which is young. Hold on. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I skipped a part. Let me go back. You must pay attention to the new life emerging for you now, or that will soon or that you will soon sense. You must not be careless and think it doesn't matter. It matters greatly. Being careless now is akin to killing off the idea before it has a chance to grow strong enough to withstand the criticism, jealousy, or sabotage by dark consciousness in others or yourself. We don't have to be frightened of destructive energy. It exists in nature and in us and is a part of life. We do, however, need to be intelligent to its, in, its potential power and stay centered in our heart and in our wisdom to avoid its ill effect upon that which we are nurturing into life. You will not always need to cloak that which is young. Soon enough, it will be able to stand up for itself, but for now, your vigilance and care is most certainly required. Hug your ideas to yourself as though they, are, they were a new lover you cannot bear to share with another. In time, the world will be the lover receiving the love in your idea. For now, it is for you to love, for you to hold, and for you to observe. Only allow those proven to be trustworthy to support you in this, those who can handle the frequency or vibration of what you are seeking to nature. Some may love you, but be frightened of what you are creating. Stay true to yourself and your creative power and be wise as to whom you invite into your inner sanctum to witness this new life emerging. This oracle also brings particular guidance about keeping your inner sanctuary pure. 
This may be your room, a sacred place you visit, your own body into which you retreat in relaxation or meditation. Sometimes you will find that others have taken up residence in your sanctuary. Perhaps an argument that you cannot let go of has another living in your head. A suffering that has not been acknowledged or released can feel like a big old dirty suitcase of emotional baggage cluttering up the, the temple space of your heart. It is time to focus on the purity, the, uh, the, the purity, light, love, and compassion that dwells within you. Everything else will come and go, and that is just fine. But the purity within your sanctuary is eternal. You can come back to it fresh uh, to refresh your spirit and gain resources to help you deal with the rest of the world or even your own darker moments anew. It will give you the peace and spaciousness of mind you need to recognize the new life and to compassionately but firmly denounce any intrusion upon that new life by doubt, fear, or sabotage. All right, Aquarius, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where you will find all the, all the readings that I offer and their email address. Shoot, their, shoot me an email and let me know you're interested and I will be more than happy to get you all hooked up. And if, as always, if you have enjoyed this reading and if it resonated with you, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. With that said, Aquarius, I hope you have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye. <laughs>